Hi guys. There is nothing in front of me at the moment, as you can see. Um, I've got a bit of a planner itch, I think it's fair to say. Um, with all the new uh, American Teacher Planner releases, the Erin Condon release, the new Happy Planners coming out, um, I really, really want something new. And normally, at this time of the year, I would be buying my Teacher Planner. Um, but as you may have heard me say in a previous video, with everything that's gone on, I've stepped away from my teaching role. So I have no need for a teacher planner. So I'm filling my void of new planner things by experimenting with some different things at the moment. Um, so, well, I still love my passion planner and that's kind of becoming more and more memory keeping. I still love having my bullet journal for that pure function of a list. But in terms of weekly, usable, day-to-day -day planning, that's where I've got a bit of an itch. So... We're going to do something different today that I cannot remember the last time I did. I must have done at some point, but it's probably a good couple of years ago. Um, I'm going to be planning in an Erin Condren. So, it's not just an Erin Condren. This is a horizontal Erin Condren. So I bought this because, actually, for work, this is a really useful layout. It's really functional. Um, obviously, having not been at work and not working for several months, it was just sat on the shelf doing nothing and I didn't like that so I wanted to do something with it. Hence why we've got it out now. I have set up the last few weeks. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. This is, this is this week. Um, Rainbow Week. Um, for the Early Path Signs event. Pretty full on, but I really like it. Um, so I've mainly been doing functional planning in this so far. I'm going to go and try for a full on sticker spread and see what happens. Now you will have noticed that I've already gone in and drawn in some lines down this side. Now I've done that for work on the basis I could have the relevant events down the page, tasks that needed doing, and then this could be for anything else that needed making a note of, such as, I can't even think now what that might be. But actually, I've kept that kind of three-part structure um, during my planning. So we're going to use that and we're going to see what happens, basically. So I'm not quite sure where this is going or how it's going to end up. I'm not even sure I've got everything I need. Um, I do have my iPad. Now, one thing that does frustrate me slightly with coiled planners, which is why I always tend to use um, bound ones, is that um, the coil sometimes it doesn't it's quite dipped so writing on this page as a right-handed person can be really difficult but something i discovered early on is wedging my ipad in between the covers means that there is always um that it's always lifted up to the top of the coil i think that makes sense um we'll see how it goes so stickers now i'm using a collection of which i have an abundance of stickers i'm using the beautiful collection which came out last year I bought this collection, I used this collection, I lost the remaining stickers of the collection, I bought a whole range of new ones from the collection and then found the original collection stickers. So I've got a lot of these. So we're going to see what happens. There are a few things I would like to draw your attention to first. These are the full boxes. Now on here there are lines which in theory, I've not tried this, um, if you trim across, they fit in this space first perfectly because this space is um, slightly um, shorter than the boxes in the vertical. Um, so that's helpful to know. Um, and there was something else. It's completely gone out of my head. Okay, I've got the four boxes, the call sheet, the day-to-day -day labels, headers, washi, half boxes, event labels... I think I've got another box of event labels, another sheet of washi, and another sheet of half boxes. So plenty of stickers, not going to go short. So I think I'm going to start with the headers. Um, yeah, we're going to go with the flowers, I think. Yes, we are. So I'm just going to wedge these in the corner, like that. Oh, I'm going to ignore the phone. The phone can ring. I've had so many phone calls from ridiculous people. I'm ignoring it. It will stop. 
it will stop. It's important they come in my mobile. I've lost my mouse. There's my mouse. The only thing that frustrates me is that the Wednesday goes over this bit. So there we go. Oh, it's not going to stop now, is it? Please stop ringing. Still ringing. And now all the children have left school as well. There we go, it's stopped now. Um, it is kicking out time at school, so and it's a horrible wet grey day, so there's noise everywhere. But that's just it's just how it goes sometimes. At least it means I can't do any more renovation works on the house at the end of the terrace. The workmen are not exactly quiet and are more than a little noisy at just demolishing things and chucking things around. It's like they don't really care. So, weekend washy. Yeah, I'm going to wedge it in the middle. I thought I'd go across the green, but then I think I'm going to wedge it in there. There we go. This is also quite a nice kit to use this week because I we have a wedding this week and that's all kind of nice and floral. So, yeah. So, the reason I started cracking this out is apart from just having it sat there on the shelf doing not a lot um was i wanted to see if i could go back to something like an Aaron cauldron and have everything that i wanted on one page um because i found that that wasn't necessarily the case and actually at the moment with the way things have changed i might be able to so i thought it was worth a go so on the whole i have but i've been a bit creative with the use of space i think on occasions so this bit here is kind of the, well, first of all, it was, it, there was a mix of events across both sides and things. And then the rainbow week, I turned this into the kind of meal plan, hydration, everything else space. And I quite liked that. Um, Cause I mean, I could just open my planner and instantly go, right, that's what I'm looking at for all of that kind of thing. So that's where I'm going with this. Oh, the only problem with putting your iPad in the middle is it doesn't half weigh it down. <laughs> really does, especially when you've got like the big eye and a, a bigger iPad. Mine's only an iPad Air, but I'm sure if you had a Pro in the middle, it'd be like whoa. Um, you go. What is that mark? It must be chocolate. It's just come off. It's probably chocolate. I was sat here earlier with chocolate, so that would explain why. So, those are the meal plan stickers, which won't get filled in because it's not that time yet. Um, I do have the car this week, so I'm going to stick that in here. Just going to cover up this bit though. So, yeah, stick them in there. I think that's good for the moment. Um, now, I did dig out an old sheet of guide labels just because I still had these floating around that I haven't been using and I kind of thought that this pink would probably be a really good fit for what's going on. So we're going to go down there, I think. Oh, that takes it. See, this is very different. I haven't used, no, I'm going to put it up there. I haven't used these headers in this yet, and they do actually take up quite a fair bit of space. But it's fine, that still works. We're good with that. Um, 24th, 25th haircut. I'm really hoping that soon there is a Penguin Joe having a haircut. It would just, it would make my day completely. Um, we'll go with a little one. It's not a big, big event just a little event so we'll stick that in there, there we go thursday is nails ready for the wedding i'm in love with these at the moment um it really is a luxury at the moment having my nails done and i had a bit of a gap where i didn't go so i did them myself and then i went last week and i'm just like they're lovely they make me happy um that's thursday 
And then for Saturday, we have the wedding. So I think I'm going to go with a big fat half box with flowers on it. Oh, let's go with that one. Because I like that. In there, in there. I'm going to put it across the day, I think. Just to be different and bizarre. Because we can. Because that's there. Okay. Yes? I think we're happy with that so far. Right. Um, hydration stickers. I knew there was something I didn't get out. So we have to go rummaging. <sighs> For my sticker eight binder that has everything in it. Ooh, might want those. Do I want those? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. One, two. Might have to get some more hydration stickers soon. Maybe not. Got more than I think I have. Oh. Yes, still have more than I think I have. I always have more than I think I have, and I have an abundance of them. Okay. So hydration stickers. Those are my very full sheets. Let's start with the slightly less full sheets. I think. So that's in there. I'll go for a slightly tealier one. Kind of works. Um, what I've also done this week that I've used this is in this space I've kind of made a note of when I've done exercise and things. Um, stuff like that really. That was really helpful wasn't it? That description. Stuff like that really. I've just said exercise. Oh, clearly my brain is not with it. There we go. Um, pinky, pinky, pink. Pinky, pinky, pink. I think, I'm thinking, looking through my stickers at the moment, that I might need to do a red spread because I have so many sheets where I've got loads of red stickers and I've used most of the other ones. So I'm going to have to do something along those lines I think so hydration in oh no I used the TV one for that one there we go yeah so that's that right Friday I am going food shopping because we are away for the weekend I think I'm just going to go with the purple one there we go Do you quite like these stickers? I'm not sure I'd use them all the time. I don't use them all the time. But I do quite like them for like a bit of, you know, I've got a stick of that, I'm going to use it kind of approach to planning sometimes. Um, I'm going to stick it up here just because I wanted to change my mind. There we go. Um, hmm. Let's go back over here. So, other things that hopefully will work when I can find everything amidst my pile of stickers is I do believe these line up with the horizontal yes they do the horizontal lines there we go they do go off a bit at the bottom I've done all that off camera that was really helpful um they line up with the lines there we go do go off the bit at the bottom I don't mind that doesn't bother me too much. I like that. Um, so Monday is generally like a crack on day. Let's get it going. Uh, Tuesday is going to be a little bit more subdued, I think. So I'm just going to go for a little one. Just a little one. And then Wednesday is also kind of a bring it on kind of day. I don't have many of these checklists, but I have a few. So I'll just kind of spread them around a bit. In fact, I think I need, they need to go on the suggestion list on the website. On the website and the Facebook group. We'll do that. And then Thursday we'll do one of those. And then Friday, I think we'll just do a little one as well. 
because there's plenty going on on Friday in terms of getting ready for the weekend, but that doesn't have to be my priority. Okay, um, down here, I have said before in previous videos, the weekly focus is such a part of my routine now that I do have it everywhere because it just helps me think about what I'm doing. So that goes down there. Um, I normally as well put some kind of basic habit tracker, which did I put in with my hydration stickers or did I just, yes I did, yes I did. See, I'm a bit all over the place today. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. So, yeah, you can see the colours on this one are a bit mixed up. That's where I've kind of compiled sheets to save space in my... Uh, sticker 8 binder because it does fill up quite quickly I do have one long checklist left which I'm going to stick down here so I can make notes of things during the week as well so that's that let's open it up and have a bit of a look so Monday's guys, Tuesday's haircut Thursday's nails Friday's food shopping, Saturday's wedding, all looks good to me. Um, other thing that I have been doing, again, I did not get this out ready. Oh, where is it? There it is. Um, what I have been doing, if I can find the right sheet, there it is, is I have been recording... over that one um the gratitude prompts at the page so these are the gratitude prompts for the ellie beth signs gratitude challenge which i have um shared in a previous video so i have these little gratitude headers which are available on the website and then i use one of these to create my boxes so this is a hobonichi stencil quite a few of them um, I've got the green one, the blue one, the yellow one, and then the yellow bookmark as well. And they've all got different things on them. And these icons are actually quite good if you're going for sort of a more hand-drawn week, because I can't draw the toffee. So, all I'm going to do is do some boxes. So, I can't fit all seven in, so I'll just do it in two columns. So we have a and then a three and then if I haven't got specific meal plan stickers if there's other things I want to record I can put a meal plan sticker up here and do that as well which I think I did yeah I did that this week so I just did meal plan and did everything else and then did the gratitude on the opposite page I've done four there there are not eight days in a week there are seven Yes, I did just call myself stupid. Anyway, that's ooh, me creating an absolute mess with squeaky chairs and everything else. Right, let's just add some pen to this so we can see what exactly is going on. Um, I'm so glad you can't see the mess of stickers that are exploding on my desk. I mean, you can probably see the periphery. So, Monday is the 24th. We have guides. From 7.30 to 9. Don't think there's anything else going on that day. Tuesday. Uh, we have a haircut. What time is my haircut? I've even got it on the right day now. Like, oh, there's a phone again. I don't think the phone's gone in this video, but it's gone ridiculously a lot lately. Yes, it did. It went at the beginning. Oh, I just, I just can't. 4.15, there we go sheer frustration of the phone going 4.15 is my haircut and then my nails are at 4.30 and it's 28 
29.30. So this is Laura and Jamie wedding. And then I think I'm just going to cut in a couple of little penguin joe travels. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know if we're going up then or then. We're definitely coming back on the Sunday, so I'll just leave it like that for now. Um, I have the car this week. the other thing that is always worth remembering if you've got a chunky planner and you're doing things like this rest something else under it um have the car this week's focus and then i tend to have that as a standing item and then the other two i'll decide when I get a bit closer, I'm filming this quite far in advance because I think this is kind of, this is acting a little bit like my passion planner used to act. Um, so that is my week set up in a horizontal aerochondron with all of the stickers. And generally I can get most things I need to in here. So what I'm looking for when I do my personal planning is meals, hydration, habits, events, gratitude, um, priority tasks. And then if I'm out and about, I take this in my bullet journal and have this open and my bullet journal would be my to-do list. It's kind of how I envisage it working. At the moment, this is still very much an experimentation along with my um, B6. I am thinking of starting to contemplate the prospect of One Book July. Haven't got more than thinking about it being a possibility at the moment. So we'll see, because this could be a contender for that. I don't know. Anyway, that is that for now. I hope there have been some useful ideas about how you might use a horizontal planner. Um, I know there's been quite a lot of discussion recently in the Ellie Beth Designs group about um, horizontal planning and I'm actually quite enjoying it and I think, you know, if I got a new Aaron Condren it would be horizontal, mainly because I don't like the big hex skin. Um, but who knows, at this moment in time I'm not getting one, that's what we're going with. So, this is bonus video, there will be my um, final June plan with me in my passion planner using the Sears Calling collection, um, so look out for that and in the meantime guys, happy planning. <laughs>